In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw angles using a protractor. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. When I ask you to draw a line of 6 cm, you are going to use a ruler to draw that line. But what if I ask you to draw an angle of 110 degrees? Then we can't use a ruler. We need a different tool. We are going to use a protractor. For example, this is an angle of 110 degrees. There are five simple, easy steps you can follow when you want to draw an angle. So let's say we want to draw an angle of 50 degrees. First, grab your protractor and then we're going to go through the steps step by step. So for the first step is you're going to draw your first ray. So I'm just going to use my protractor because I don't want to go back and forth between my protractor and my ruler. So I'm going to use my straight edge of my protractor as a ruler. So now I'm drawing my first ray. Your ray can point to the right or the left. It doesn't matter. Just follow these steps and you'll be able to draw your angle. So for the next step, you're going to place your protractor correctly on your ray. So how do I do that? Do you see this middle bottom part of your protractor? That point must be exactly on the beginning of your ray. And the next thing I want you to remember is that this bottom line on your protractor needs to lie exactly on your ray. So let's do those two things. First, we line up the middle bottom part of our protractor with our beginning of our ray. And then we make sure that the bottom line of our protractor is lying exactly on our ray. And now we can move on to the next step. So for the next step, we're going to measure the angle. But before we can do that, we need to know, are we going to use the outer numbers or the inner numbers to measure our angle? Just like when you measure a line of 6 cm, you start at 0 and you measure your line until you reach 6 cm. You're going to measure an angle the same way. You always start at 0. So our ray is pointing at 0 at the inner numbers. So we are going to use the inner numbers. So start at 0 and go all the way until you reach 50 degrees. And at the outside of our protractor, where 50 degrees lie, make a small neat mark just to indicate for yourself where 50 degrees is. Because now we're going to move our protractor. And I'm going to use my straight edge on my protractor to draw my second ray. And that is your next step. Draw your second ray. So make sure you line up the beginning of your first ray to the neat mark you made and then draw your second ray. And now let's go to the last step. So lastly, all I want you to do is to show and label the angle. Show where your angle lies and also label your angle. This angle is 50 degrees. And I want you to remember, don't just write 50 because it's not 50 centimeters, it is 50 degrees. So make sure you remember your degrees sign. So now that we have all our steps, let's go and draw another angle. But this time I'm going to do it a bit differently and you will see now how I'm going to do that. So let's say we want to draw an angle of 120 degrees. First, get your protractor. And now for the first step, draw your first ray. And this is how I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to draw my ray so that it points to the left. And I'm going to move my protractor and move on to the second step. And the second step is to place your protractor correctly on your ray. And remember, that means that the middle bottom part of your protractor needs to be exactly on the beginning of your ray. And the second thing you need to remember is that this bottom line needs to lie exactly on your ray. So let's do those two things. I'm going to make sure that the bottom middle part of my protractor is exactly on the beginning of my ray. And then I'm going to make sure that the bottom line of my protractor lies exactly on my ray. And now I can move on to my next step. And the next step is to measure the angle. But before we do that, 
Are we going to use the outer numbers or are we going to use the inner numbers to measure this angle? Remember, we always start at zero and our ray is pointing at the zero on the outside. So we are going to use the outside numbers to measure this angle. So you start at zero and find 120 degrees and then outside the protractor make a neat mark to indicate where 120 degrees lies. Now I'm going to move my protractor because I'm going to use the flat edge on my protractor to draw my next ray and that is my next step. Draw the second ray. So make sure that you line up the beginning of your first ray to the neat mark and for the last step I want you to remember to show and label the angle. So show where your angle lies and also label your angle and very important always remember your degrees sign. So just like in all my other videos you can find a free worksheet and memo in the description box below you can just click on the link and go and download the worksheet and memo or you can just click on the screen on the patreon sign and go and download the worksheet and memo and see all the other worksheets and memos i have and lastly if this video helped you please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel and then i'll see you in the next video goodbye